Meghan Markle will launch her charitable collection of work apparel next Thursday, September 12, marking the official end of her maternity leave. The range will benefit one of her royal patronages, Smart Works, which supports women entering the workplace with interview prep and professional clothing. Meghan has still worked behind the scenes after giving birth, despite pulling back from public engagements. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex's return is imminent. She will lead a public work engagement in London on September 12 to launch her capsule collection benefiting one of her royal patronages, Smart Works, which assists women who are entering the workforce. The Duchess will deliver a speech, attend a panel discussion with representatives from the organization, and learn more about the guidance Smart Works clients get, from interview training to office wardrobe, according to a statement from the palace. The upcoming appearance will also technically mark the end of maternity leave for Meghan, who gave birth to her son, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, on May 6. Her last public engagements before giving birth took place in March, but she still worked and took meetings behind the scenes. She has also been using this period to catch up with those involved in her patronage-related endeavors, a palisade previously told Bazaar.com. Meghan's maternity leave has been far from a break. She made occasional appearances at the Lion King premiere, where she met Beyoncé, with Prince Harry, Wimbledon, the Yankees' Red Sox game in London, and Trooping the Color, which is technically a family event, as it honors the Queen's birthday. She guest edited the September 2019 issue of British Vogue 2. Now, as she resumes her public royal duties, the Duchess is debuting another project she's been working on behind the scenes as a new mom. Meghan collaborated with British brands Jigsaw, John Lewis, and partners, Marks and Spencer, and Mishinanu to create a collection of workwear essentials, which includes a shirt, trousers, blazer, dress, and bag for each piece purchased during the sale, which will last for at least two weeks, one item will be donated to Smart Works. The launch will also highlight British high street brands, according to royal correspondent Thomas Scobie. A tote bag from John Lewis and Partners is expected to be a popular item. The timely launch of the collection takes place a day before the official start of London Fashion Week. The Duchess of Sussex will step out next Thursday to launch the capsule collection of women's workwear she created with her designer friend Misha Nanu. Meghan Markle is making her official return to royal duties after maternity leave. The Duchess of Sussex will step out next Thursday, September 12, to launch the capsule collection of women's workwear she created with her designer friend Misha Nanu. The outing marks her first official work engagement since she and Prince Harry welcomed their first child, a son they named Archie Harrison, on May 6, making her return to royal duties just over four months after Archie's birth. The clothing line will benefit her patronage Smart Works, a charity that helps women find employment with coaching tips and professional attire for their job interviews. For every item bought during the sale of the collection, one will be donated to Smart Works. When you walk into a Smart Works space you're met with racks of clothing and an array of bags and shoes, Meghan wrote in the September issue of British Vogue, which she guest edited. Sometimes, however, it can be a potpourri of mismatched sizes and colors, not always the right stylistic choices or range of sizes. To help with this, I asked Marks and Spencer, John Lewis, and partners, Jigsaw and my friends, the designer Mishinanu, if they were willing to design a capsule collection of more classic options for a workwear wardrobe, she added. Taking the idea further, many of the brands agreed to use the one-for-one -one model, for each item purchased by a customer, one is donated to the charity. Not only does this allow us to be part of each other's story, it reminds us we are in it together. The royal mom shared the first glimpse of her project in a candid Instagram story last month. In the video, which is set to the Bill Withers 1977 hit, Lovely Day, the Meghan surprises a group of women as they arrive to the collection's photo shoot. Meghan excitedly puts her hand to her face as the women come up the stairs to be greeted by the royal with a hug. 
she proceeds to help direct the shoot from the sidelines and even styles the women. Dressed casually chic in skinny jeans, a blue and white striped collared shirt by a sustainable British women shirt brand with nothing underneath and nude heels, Megan is animated as she laughs and jokes around on set. At the end of the video, she excitedly claps in front of the camera. Although Megan has been mostly out of the spotlight since Archie's arrival, she's stayed very busy. In addition to her work as the guest editor of British Vogue in the Capsule Collection, Meghan made her first post-baby appearance at Troopin the Color in June to celebrate Queen Elizabeth's birthday with the rest of the royal family on the Buckingham Palace balcony. Meghan, 38, also made a surprise appearance alongside Harry when the New York Yankees and Boston Red Sox faced off for the first ever regular season MLB game in London, where the new parents were presented with some baseball-themed gifts for Archie. Meghan's summer also included Archie's christening, outings to Wimbledon, including watching the women's final with sister-in-law Kate Middleton and Kate's sister, Pippa Middleton, a family outing to watch Prince William and Prince Harry play polo that marked Archie's first public appearance and a date night with Harry to see The Lion King, where they met the film's stars including Beyoncé. Meghan Markle's first official post-baby engagement is fashion-related and for a cause that's clearly important to her. On Wednesday, it was announced that the Duchess of Sussex will launch her capsule collection for Smart Works in London, England, on September 12, which is in support of the charity that helps unemployed women regain the confidence they need to succeed at job interviews and return to employment. Meghan is a patron of the charity and partnered with her friend, designer Mishianu, on the new collection. The outing marks the first official event Meghan will attend after giving birth to her and Prince Harry's first child together, son Archie, in May. Since giving birth, Meghan has gone on a few public outings, such as the Troop in the Color Parade in June to celebrate Queen Elizabeth's birthday and the Lion King premiere in London alongside Harry in July, but none related to her official royal duties. According to an official release on Meghan's September 12th event, the idea for her new collection came about when the 38-year-old former Suits actress noticed during her visits to the charity that donations to Smart Works weren't always the right choices or sizes. She wanted to collaborate on a new collection to ensure that Smart Works clients are equipped with both the skills and clothes they need to feel job ready. Meghan talked about Smart Works in the September issue of British Vogue, which she guest edited. When you walk into a smart works space you're met with racks of clothing and an array of bags and shoes, she shared. Sometimes, however, it can be a potpourri of mismatched sizes and colors, not always the right stylistic choices or range of sizes. To help with this, I asked Marks and Spencer, John Lewis, and partners, Jigsaw and my friends, the designer Mishianu if they were willing to design a capsule collection of more classic options for a work or wardrobe, she continued. Taking the idea further, many of the brands agreed to use the one-for-one -one model, for each item purchased by a customer, one is donated to the charity. Not only does this allow us to be part of each other's story, it reminds us we are in it together. Megan has been a patron of Smart Works since January and announced the collection in July. Last month, she made a surprise appearance at a photo shoot for the line and was obviously overjoyed in a video she shared on Instagram, in which she gave out hugs, helped with the clothes and at one point, excitedly clapped her hands behind the scenes. As Meghan's maternity leave comes to an end, a source recently told DT that she and Harry are very happy with their third nanny for Archie, after the first two didn't work out. According to our source, the recent hire is a woman and she's been a blessing so far. The new nanny was seen accompanying Meghan and Harry on their recent getaway to their good friend, Elton John's, Chateau in France, and is expected to accompany the couple on their upcoming royal tour of South Africa in the fall. 